welcome back to my channel fishing the trossacks as you see i've got the rods out now i'm fishing with floats over there so i've got the i think it's 69 pound braid my own traces that i made earlier which are sweet i must say and they the both the outside rods have a big trout on each and the middle one has a mackerel with its head off, mackerel joey. Um, fingers crossed we catch that. We're spending the night here, we've got the bivvy set up. Uh, I've done the waterproof test last night to see how it done on the severe rain and it done really well. Yeah, hopefully my fishing rods do really well on today's test. <laughs> of catching that is fishing first time i've ever been visited by the bailiff this morning when i arrived the boys were getting a wee visit for the bailiff we've got permits of course so it's not a problem um nice to see him nice to get a chat with him nice to get his, his opinion on a few things as well which is kind of cool as you see there's my bivvy sitting right there i've not quite unpacked first thing i've done is got the rods out and they are out and set the traps are live there's no life life bait I don't know why I said that. Like live is in. They can be. I can catch a fish now. Jesus, look at this little chunk getting fat. I'm start going on my peloton there. Or just start going on because I haven't been on it in ages. So yeah, we're at Loch Acre today. There's a beautiful Ben Ann behind us. You see my tarp. No, my bivvy. Talking about tarps. There's a Gareth's shelter for the night. Stevens is behind it. You'll never see Stevens because of the monstrosity of that top. <laughs> it's five meters long. So, here's my bait selection. Trout that I've used. I'll show you the size of them. There's another one here. There's my trout. Rainbows. My theory is match the hatch. I know there's no rainbows here, but match the hatch. There's trout there, so. And mackerel joys I'd rather have brown trout but good luck getting brown trout on a, as bait these days don't know what's happening with the dead baits market my new pike pro bag fed up everything melting too quick this the bite of the bait just gets so soft so quick so yeah I'm going to, I've got my dogs with me they're currently sitting in the van whilst the boys are cooking because they're labs and they're a nightmare around food so it's just a case of went through the done, then I let the ducks back out and hopefully chill for a bit. A bit of a nap because I've not slept in a long time. I'm a daddy too now, which is nice, but also means I didn't sleep much. Two ducks just landed not far from us. So yeah, we've had a beautiful wee baby boy Finley, for those that care. Yeah, he came in at £7.11, I think it is. Was. He's now like heavier than that. He's a month old. Um, I've not been out fishing in a while. I've just been being a dad, that's all, and a husband. Um, well, yeah, funny story. She uh, was almost at her due date. Oh, no. Yeah, she was almost at her due date. Thought she was going to go labour. Went into hospital. Turns out she wasn't in labour. Came back. And then she went like, like f he was during the ninth when he was born. On the f so she went six days over. <laughs> and uh, 11, 12 o'clock at night, I went to bed. And she says, James, just thought you know, I'm feeling a wee bit sore tonight. And I says, all right, cool. You've been saying that every night for the last two weeks, so good night. And uh, I went to sleep, obviously. Three o'clock, I woke up. James, James, I'm, I'm, I'm in labour. I was right, okay, we'll get up. So we left the house about... F no, she woke me up at four. We left the house pretty much straight away. So it must have been like quarter to four, she woke me up. Left the house at four. In the hospital for five in the morning. And the baby was here for seven. And then we're back home by four. So, yep, that was a quick, quick birth. He was born at 6.59. Seven o'clock to me, but the hospital put it at 6.59. And uh, yep, healthy, happy, happy days. Now I'm out fishing again. 
hopefully catch some big pike. There's definitely a big pike in here. Like I said, we've been here before. I'll try to get them on again. And yeah, fingers crossed we'll get some. Stephen, the boys, Stephen and Gareth, um, were here last night fishing, camping obviously. I just can't do two nights away. I can do one night. And uh, he had an eel. I never caught an eel before. But he's caught one now, so put it back obviously. And nothing else. A couple of wee runs, but none, none landed. So I time to get the rest of my camp away. Now we go for a wee nap. Have a bit of food and go for a nap. One thing for sure, it's hard to beat the view. I stopped down at Baines on my way up. My sister works at Baines. She wasn't there right enough, but chicken meal we get for my lunch. Here's a wee. This is my messy bit. My bed. My wee chair for inside here. I'm going outside here too. Oh, there's a bit of Velcro there. I don't know what that's for. My rods are just there. Ben Ann, my favourite wee hill. Beautiful man. Go on, Rod, go. Go. And the float's over there. The eagle eyed will see it. There's another one over there. It's morning time, it's about half seven. It was cold last night and very, very wet. I'm glad my alarms never went off. <laughs> I would have hated to have to go catch a fish in that rain last night. I would have done it because I obviously still want to catch a big fish. Sometimes you got to go for hell to get your stuff you want. <sighs> But, yeah, the rain was atrocious last night. I was pure para that my rods were going to get washed away in the van. I've yet to confirm that they're still there, but they will be there. The wind have rained that much. So, the water, the tent's waterproof, which is good. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to chill here for a wee bit. Before I get up and deal with this rain. It's still drizzling the now. It's to get heavy again soon. And then it's probably drizzly after 12. So hopefully we get the tents away in that time period rather than when it's absolute peanut then. <laughs> yeah, tough weekend fishing, but it's good though. But yeah. Picture the storms look very good. We had no action, none of us, which is surprising for here. Not like Gareth had a couple of beeps last night, but that was it. It was probably just eels on the end of his line. I've got trout out in mackerel, so I thought I would have had something. Not even nothing. Not even an eel. <laughs> not that you want eels, but that's how nothing this there is. There's no, no eels. I'm not in that. We're doing with a couple of screaming runs. Breakfast of champions. Breakfast of people that do not want to leave the tent in the morning. Mmm. It's very cold. And I just remembered I brought a second sleeping bag with me. I'm going to chuck that over me. I'm winding again. Mm. 
Mm. I think they're awake, so time to get up. It's like 10 o'clock. Stephen slept like almost 24 hours, that's crazy. Bivy still soap. It's freezing. Absolute Baltic. Well, it's not actually freezing because the water's not frozen. But it can be far off. We're going to go visit, see if we can get some breakfast. Good morning, sleepyhead. You're sleepyhead, have you not for hours? So have I been waiting on you two getting up? Have you not for ages? You've been waiting on me getting up, because I've been up since Mate, five. You've been you've fucking snoring. You've been fucking snoring like fuck. Ah, you, you, you can't say, you cannot say that you've been sleeping. <laughs> you stopped snoring about an hour ago. I woke up at five. Aye. Aye, you feel better sleeping. You, 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 you are snoring like a train. You hear him snoring and making bad noises. I was fucking bolting. It was cold, eh? How cold was it last night? Roasting. Very cold. You've got gas heater in there, you bugger. I was, I, had to, I, I was sleep. freezing. See, last night, I actually had to get up and take my jumper and that off Oof. and go back into my sleeping bag. Mate, I slept with my hat, my hoodie up, the lot. Same, same here, it was cold. It was like cold. I put on a second sleeping bag, I took two sleeping bags. That's what I was doing, I should, I should have put one of the Wayne's ones inside my Aye. so they my boat yeah. Oh. Oh, I've got a bit of cleaning up today, the campsite. The beers. Oh. We just need to catch some fish, man. There's nothing happening. Well, see, last night I was totally dreading any alarms going off. I sat the first time and then I came back. Once I'm up this time, I'm taking my rods See that? Did you James when we went to bed? Aye. Did he fucking hear it, man? And did you hear the wind? Yeah, I know. Oh, no, I never. I heard that big thing. It was my camera stand blowing up. Oh, it's maybe hanging on the top of it, look. Uh, yeah, go for a pee. Aye. So you tell me it's been raining constantly? Pretty much. I must have Blue skies. I've got the fire on. Because it's cold. Very cold. Stephen's going to put some bait out on his rods because he took his rods in because then they want to be waking up during the night in that rain. Which is fair enough, I was very tempted to do the same. <laughs> and uh, my rods are still out but I might give them a wee bit of adjustment, check the baits. Because I don't think they've been touched at all whatsoever. Nothing's even looked at them. So, I'll check that. The water's come up the bank a foot or two, even further for last night. It's been some amount of rain. This is what I was worried about. I was worried that the water would be like here. And I was tough to, you know, they, that could easily get washed away, but I was worried about that. But it's fine. My three rods out. I'm just going to pull this one in because it's not that far, I've got to recast it, see if I can get a bit further out. I'll pull the others in as well. And see. Ben and looking beautiful as always. And then we're at the top. I don't think so at the moment. Oh no, maybe there's a couple of people at the top. It's a cool hill. Untouched rainbow trout. Put that back out. That may be why there's no nothing taking my macro. You can hard you can't see my macro. So I need to sort that one out. As I'm going in about this. There's something wrong here. There's no macro. The eels have had it. Buggers. I've changed my tactics. I've got the rod out on the left, just pretty much the same as what I've fro floated ledger, just out here, same as that. Middle rod, sunken ledger, way far out, as far as I could cast, past the, the weed bed. One on the right, floating, dead bait, four foot, 
from the surface. It's probably about 10 foot depth there. So, and there's a weed bed, so you're talking maybe three foot of weeds. So it's probably only three or four feet in between the weeds and the dead bait. So, it's floated, so hopefully that will go screaming soon. Trout, mackerel, trout again. Fingers crossed. Try to dry off the temp before I pack it down. I don't have a towel, but I have a blanket. So, sacrificing a blanket. Because it's such a big tent. I'm not going to get this in my shed. Like, up to dry out, so I'll have to wait till the next sunny day. So if I take the worst of the rain off it, that will should be fine. Minimise the risk of mould. That's it, been wiped. So hopefully, give it like an hour, hopefully it stays dry, and that should, fingers crossed, be good enough to put away. I think it's pretty dry actually. That blanket done a good job. Apart from the bits that are hard to reach, like up there. Take the whole blanket. I'll go home with me, I'm just leaving it there because I don't need it out. I'm in my tent now. It's wet. Right, you getting the, the best footage of the trip? Oh, aye. The Gog's <laughs> Kitchen. You got a wee heater going. It's actually roasting in there, putting your hand in there. It's just. It's cozy. Compared to here, fire's freezing. Oh, okay, I'm let it cool down. <laughs> and be fucking carrying them up when it's hot. I'm in the middle of packing my tent up. I seen the weather window, dried my tent, got it packed in. As soon as I got it packed in, it started raining. Yes, timed it perfect. Yeah, I just need to. Get the rest of this stuff and my fishing stuff. We've just got to call it a blank, but it was a brilliant test for the for the bivy. It's the first time I've had the bivy out in that weather, and the coldness. A good test for the uh, that's the vans. Uh, a good test for the sleeping bag as well. I've never used a sleeping bag in the cold weather. Previously, just in the hot, and it's far too hot in the hot weather. You know, you're up in it. You're out, out the bag basically lying naked. So it was quite good in the winter. It, it did keep me co it did keep me cosy. I did put a second bag in me though, just because I had it. I would, didn't have to, but I had it, so I might as well use it. I was nice and cosy. Um, then, but I think it's hot tent weather, getting that. I think hot tent's great because it dries the tent itself. As it gets wet, it's also drying because of the heat of the fire. So I wouldn't have had to dry it much. Whereas I'm going to have to hang that in my container. I wasn't planning on going to my container. I was planning on putting it all the way in my shed, all bagged up. But I've got a container and I'll be able to hang that and let it drip, drip dry for a week or something. And hopefully I'll be able to then pack it up in my container. I might just keep my... I was hope, thinking about getting rid of my container. It's just like over 100 quid a month. But I might actually keep it just because it saves everything in my shed getting wrecked. And yeah, I might just set it up as storage in there. Just accept the cost. Screw it. So I... Time to get this packed up. We're calling it a blank, unfortunately. Stephen caught an eel. That's it. That's all we caught. We weren't fishing for eels, obviously. Uh, the eel went back safe and sound. And yeah, it's a blank, but a good test on the bivvies. I mean, garish bivvy. Got it for like 30 quid. I mean, you're expecting it to be soaked. Chuck a tarp at it, another 15 quid. It's got a solid winter bivvy. It's great. Although I should get it green. Stephen's got an overwrap. He's nice and cosy and his condensation's bad though. But yeah, I could get an overwrap for my bivvy, but can what? I'll just go and start using my hot tent in winter again. And if I go out with the boys or something, like my wee boys, if they come camping, I'll use my bivvy because it's got a space. Or the missus, like that will ever happen. That will never happen. She doesn't like camping. She doesn't like fishing. So, yep. I'll leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry about the blank as usual. I mean, I'm the worst fisherman out there, eh? Tell me another YouTuber that catches less than me. Record. And I go fishing a lot. But yeah, that should be me back fishing. The next one you see will probably be me and Josh grailing fishing on the, either the Clyde or the Ern or River Tummel. I'd like to do the Teeth, but it's always booked up. And it's quite a hard stretch to get to, actually. So, yeah. 
and I do have another thing in the works. Now this is a game changer. If this happens, life will be great. If, it, if this works, if I manage to pull this off, it'll be amazing. But I'll tell you about it when I either know about it or I don't know about it. One or the other. But anyway, take care and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, nice and tidy. Like, share and subscribe, folks. Thank you.